Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com and in this video we will recap today's market action and discuss our trading plan for tomorrow. But first up, to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from InsiderFinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. And speaking of reports, we have a new research report on a NASDAQ small cap that we think has major short squeeze potential. Just under 25% of the float is short. The company has no debt over $1 per share in cash and trades just above $3 in key trendline support. Last year, the company was named to Forbes' list of best small companies for 2022. To get our full report, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email and any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. Well, guys, in terms of small caps, and as I keep saying on this channel, this is a trader's market and not an investor's. What I try to do here at InsiderFinancial.com is to put stocks on your radar so that you can do your own research. You create a watch list of the names that I cover, and as I always say, play green and not red. You're looking for that momentum. You want to get on the wave, ride it, and get off. Forget this diamond hands, paper hands BS. You can go to InsiderFinancial.com and see all the tickers that we have been covering. Today, there were just a handful of names working as the markets were uncertain ahead of major tech earnings from Microsoft and Google. Uh, both blew away estimates. Microsoft hit new 52-week highs in the after hours. Google announced a $70 billion share buyback. This is significant as the company has a $1.3 trillion market cap. Uh, the bears today, they thought they had the market beat and big tech came in in the after hours to save the day. We have Bitcoin back above 28,000. Bitcoin is one of the bellwethers, as I say, for risk on, risk off sentiment. Uh, that's good news for names like Mara. In terms of small caps, uh, today we saw CNTG up 120% on no news. Uh, not sure if this one has any more uh, gas in the tank for tomorrow or not. Uh, Viri up 55%. Today on news, uh, keep watching this one this week, just a $17 million market cap. Uh, the company in Viri announced a program summary based on initial feedback from the FDA on its phase three uh, program proposal featuring its lead development can candidate IMC-1. IMC-1 is a novel proprietary fixed dose combination of fem Cyclover and silico oxide designed to synergi synergistically suppress herpes virus replication, aiming to reduce virally promoted fibromyalgia disease symptoms. Uh, the proposed phase three program consists of four primary components. So this is big news. Any time we get anything from the FDA is good news when it comes to biotech. So keep uh, watching this one tomorrow. Uh, moving on, CXAI. This has just been a great trader uh, the past two weeks. Uh, we profiled this one two weeks ago. Uh, float just under 1 million shares. Uh, no news, uh, just a momentum trader tied to AI. So uh, again, guys, this is a great trader. Play momentum, play green. Don't be dip buying these red on these red days. Uh, G-E-T-R, really nice chart here. It's been building up uh, momentum here. Uh, Fintwit is really trying to pump this one, G-E-T-R. 
Let's keep watching this one to see if we can make that push to one dollar. Uh, ETAO uh, got a tweet uh, today uh, beating down D SPAC. After, active after hours might be getting ready to run. So ETAO, again, some action after hours. Let's see if that momentum continues uh, into tomorrow's pre market and also during the major session. Uh, GCTK, uh, this is a momentum name, uh, caught a lot of traders today, even Tim Sykes uh, was, was crying about it, uh, he took a loss today, uh, Teresa Perrin, who we follow here, uh, she just basically said, what the fuck is this, a scare tactic on the retrace, look at that chart, so again, GCTK, uh, again, huge move here, completely about retrace the entire move, uh, let's see uh, what type of uh, uh, action we can get going tomorrow again uh, remember to always use trading uh, trailing stops uh, you know again forget the diamond hands paper hands BS always be booking profits at the end of the day all that matters is your own P&L not anyone else's P&L focus on your P&L uh, I know a lot of people like to post their gains percentage gains. it's meaningless focus on what you do with your P&L and a lot of these people focus uh, posting their, their P&Ls and everything, they're using a paper trading account. They're not real traders. So again, always keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, LGMK, uh, coming off the lows here, news out. Uh, they're presenting at a conference in, in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, let's see if they can keep the uh, momentum going tomorrow. Uh, LGMK was up 25% today, uh, trading a, a little bit higher in the after hours. Let's see uh, how that one plays out uh, tomorrow. Meanwhile, over on the OTC, uh, HNRC up 168%. Like seeing this on the OTC, finally some uh, winners happening there. Uh, the company is just a $10 million market cap out with dividend news. Uh, it says here the Fenrir has completed the review of the company's corporate action to pay a dividend. The corporate action for the spinoff dividend has been published on the Fenrir daily list uh, with a record date of April 28th and a payment date of May 26th. Uh, HNRC shareholders of record on April 28th will receive one share of Worldwide Diversified Holdings, WDHI, for every two shares of HNRC. The trading of the WDHI, WDHI shares will be subject to a registration statement being approved by the SEC. It is anticipated that the initial price of the WDHI shares will be $3.50 per share, representing a $1.75 per share per HNRC share dividend. So certainly uh, interesting play here. And HNRC is, a, is the real deal. It's a diversified energy company with oil and gas interests as well as wastewater treatment facilities. Uh, their oil field in Crockett County, Texas has 83 oil wells with estimated 33 million barrels of oil and water treatment and appraised reserves of $69 million. Uh, the company has also acquired a 9.9% interest in Cunningham Energy LLC with appraised reserves of $352 million. So again, HNRC should be on your radar screen. Also, on InsiderFinancial.com, uh, guest contributor Mike Long, he's out with an article on EPAZ. He says, drone, make, drone makers EPAZ and UAVS flying high with AI. So, highly recommend you go over to InsiderFinancial.com and take a look at what he has to say on these potentially undervalued names uh, for you to research. So, certainly uh, interesting plays here. And guys, remember, play momentum, buy green, don't be dip buying or averaging down on these small caps. Uh, it's the quickest way to the poor house. You don't want to become a bag holder. Play momentum, get in, get out, and move on to the next play. And again, guys, if you want our uh, report on a NASDAQ short squeeze play, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com with your email. You can even sign up to read the report and unsubscribe. No spam. Your info is not, never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. Finally, Insider 
Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is my solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinions meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Have a great day, everyone, tomorrow. Bye-bye.